What's going on, Guitar Grappler here? And today I'm with another beautiful Jackson guitar. Oh, yeah. This is an early 2000s Jackson, made in Japan, Dinky DK2S. Uh, and it's a black cherry finish. At least that's what, I'm, that's what I've decided on. Uh, and the reason why I say that is, whenever I make these videos, it's all for research, all to get uh, more information out about these guitars on YouTube. Uh, because I like watching videos like this, and I'm sure other people do too. And it's just good to document it and get as much information as possible. So when people pick up these guitars, maybe at like a pawn shop or something, or you see it on uh, eBay or Reverb, and you know you want to learn about it, you know you have somebody making videos and, and putting information out. So, anyways, as I do research, I'm all my Jacksons I've been able to find in the catalog. Um, where I can find, even if it's not the picture, I can find, okay, this is the year it came out, this is the color that they did, uh, the specs and whatnot. For some reason, I could not find the black cherry finish in the catalogs. The DKSs were made between, I think like 2002 was the first year, and they only lasted for a few years after that. And uh, so that's, it, it's gonna be around that time frame that, the, that this was made, but I, I just couldn't find it. You know, um, but what I did find was I looked and I saw a forum and basically on the forum was a bunch of guys talking about how they were buying these, but they were uh, refurbished or like they had had some type of like B stock issues to them and they were buying them for some company who was just like, I, I guess, fire sale on them because it was like, I, I believe it was like a year later or, um, you know, they were like an older model. And the guy said that when he received it on the box, it said black cherry. So that makes me believe that this is the Black Cherry. And using, if you're familiar with the Charvel Model 6 Black Cherry, uh, it looks just like this. I mean, the, the color is like that purplish, almost, almost brownish if you see it in person, or like crimson uh, type of color. So please go check out the Model 6 in Black Cherry. Beautiful guitar. I mean, it looks very similar to this, but um, the Tone King has one. And uh, so check that out, the Tone King his black cherry Charvels, it's beautiful. So with all that information, I pretty much said, yeah, this is probably black cherry as well. Um, it seems to be a rarer color. I do see another one listed, not in the condition that this one's in, but um, listed at a fair price too. I think it's like 600 bucks. Cause these normally run from like 700 to a thousand dollars, maybe 1200 bucks, depending on condition and depending on the color. Uh, there's a beautiful red one that they have that I would love to have. And, um, that, that's probably my favorite color of the DKSs, but Black Cherry is definitely my second favorite. So anyways, going over some of the specs, it's very similar to a lot of the other DK2s made in Japan, um, but some differences, obviously, the S in DK2S stands for Sustainiac, which is this pickup right here. I'm gonna link a video, if I remember, to, I think the guy's name is KB. He's a, uh, a YouTuber, and I'm sure most of y'all have seen him before, but he has a great video discussing all the details of the Sustainiac. I'm not gonna go through all that, but I definitely suggest watching it after this video, um, because there's no point in me doing it. He, he already did it, you know? Um, but anyways, the Sustainiac works with your bridge pickup. Uh, you see how we have these two switches here. Uh, basically, you can turn turn on the Sustainiac, and what it does is it sustains a note pretty much until the battery dies. Uh, so if you're playing a solo, and I've had this happen before where I'm holding a note for a long time, and, and maybe I hold it a little too long, and then it just poop, kind of fades out, you know? Fades out faster than I want it to fade out. That's the same that will hold that note as long as the battery's on, as long as the battery has life, you know? So that's a very long time because those nine volt batteries last a good while. So um, very cool with leads. Um, there's some like big players that use that, like Phil Collin from Def Leppard um, and some other guys. Some modern Schecters and modern Solar guitars have the Sustainiac now. Not a lot, but a couple of their models. Uh, it, 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 it's such a cool pickup. Like you would think a lot of guitars would have them, but they, but they don't for some reason. Uh, and the first time I seen these, these Jacksons, I was like, I want to have one of these one day. But then I looked at the price, I was like, damn, I may never have one of these uh, one day. Because, you know, the one thing about some older guitars, even though I have a bunch of them and I love them, is it's almost like a lot of them you're going to have somewhat of a project on your hands. Uh, because, you know, it's more time for things to go wrong, uh, hardware to wear out, pickups to be out of date. You know, it's just like stuff can happen. So it's kind of like a project. 
my other two that I have, I wind up changing a lot of things on them. Uh, you know, my old sharp app, like it's always some work I have to do. This one though, the only flaw on this guitar is like the tip of the headstock has a little uh, indent on it. And that's it. This is a, I mean, it's unbelievably clean for a 20 year old guitar, like unbelievably clean. So, um, I, matter of fact, I've seen new guitars at Guitar Center sitting on the wall that's worse than this guitar. So it was hardly played. Anyways, uh, like I said, we have these knobs that, and, and they control the Sustainiac basically. This is a gain control for the Sustainiac. Tone, volume, we have one, two, three, four, five way switch. Um, I only go right here or here. And mostly I just keep it on the bridge pickup. Um, we have the J Jackson, what is it called? LP 510 or 510 LP, or I believe. Jackson. Oh, JT5. Damn, I should know this because I've had a bunch of them. Damn. Anyways, I forget. But it's a low profile Jackson bridge. Um, the other ones that I've had have been in rough shape and corroded. This one is just so nice. Like, I mean, it looks almost new. It, it's, it's insane. And it's a pretty good bridge. I mean, it, it definitely does its job. I, I don't see any need to change it anytime soon. Um, I, you know, I have this guitar listed right now for sale because I just have so many guitars, but I may keep it. Like the longer I talk about it and the more I look at it, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I might just keep it for my collection. So uh, if you see this video quick and you want it, hop on it on eBay real quick because it might not be up there before I change my mind. Um, it has Duncan Design pickups. They're not the best, not the worst. They just kind of, you know, they, they, they do their job. And if I do keep it, I'll probably change the bridge. I'm, I'm probably not gonna change the middle pickup because I don't even use it, so there's no point. But I'll, I'll probably change the bridge, but it's really not necessary. The Sustainiac, like I described, it's just a cool looking pickup too. Um, I believe it's an alder body. And we have a rosewood neck, which is very common on the DK2s in Japan. Um, I love rosewood. I think it's, it's my second favorite type of neck. Uh, fretboard aside from uh, ebony. Ebony is my favorite. But I feel like ebony is a little more, it's more of a soft wood I feel and can get damaged easier than what rosewood can. That that may be my own perception and I may be wrong, but uh, from all the guitars I have, that's, that's how I feel. Look, I mean, look how nice and good of condition, if you can see this, the uh, the, the screws are, I mean, it's hard. This guitar is hardly used. The beautiful old Jackson logo. And I don't know if you even be able to see it. Maybe it's like a little, like somebody just hit the tip, uh, just the tip on something. And that's it. That's like the only issue. All right. Now we'll flip this thing over and we have the binding going around the neck. And then on the back, we have... As you can see, the Made in Japan sticker still on it, which I would say like, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20% of the guitars from this era that had the sticker still have the sticker. Like people normally peel them off or they fall off over time. We have a very cool battery compartment on these. And like this is nicer than some of the modern ones. Like my, my ESP doesn't even have a nice one like this. And that's a modern guitar, but very, very cool uh, battery holder. We have the nice cutaway with the serial number. Uh, it's a 9-6 serial number, but it's not a 1996 guitar. Uh, let's see, we have a beautiful maple neck. There's a lot of like figuring in this neck, if you can see. Man, beautiful, beautiful neck. And then we have the Jackson branded tuners, which get the job done. It's not Godo, but actually, they might actually be made by Godo, but Jackson branded. I'm not sure to be honest, but they get the job done for sure. You know, no no real need to change them. I normally do just because I really like uh, the go-to locking tuners just for convenience when I'm changing strings and whatnot. It saves me about 10 seconds, but you know, time is money, right? Yeah, as they say. So anyways, absolutely beautiful guitar. And more than anything, I just kind of wanted to document it in case somebody comes along and, and sees one online, they have something to go by, some type of information. Um, that's the only reason why I really make these videos, just to get the word out to people. So I appreciate you watching. Keep on shredding. And if you have any uh, thing you want to add to the video or any questions or comments about this guitar or these models, 
please do. I love talking about guitars. I normally respond to every comment. So I appreciate you watching. Keep on shredding. Thank you.